empty your pockets now, please. Keep quiet, all right? I'll do the talking. Oh, you do the talking, eh? Like you've done everything else. All right, I go. You know nothing. I mean, we're gonna get done for drugs here. Eh? Maybe I will, but you won't. Yeah, well, I was the one who had them on me. Leave it to me. No. I mean, Michael, we're gonna have to tell them the truth, otherwise we've had it. Oh, listen now. They make up the minds and then we go deaf. Oh, so we've had it, haven't we? Yeah, but you're only a kid, so shut it, all right? All right, you two. Let's have some facts and figures. You what? Addresses. Telephone numbers. We've had you to us. We haven't done anything. Shut it, Jackie. No one's doing anything to anyone yet. Oh, why, yeah? I mean, my dad's gonna go mad. Mad's not the word. You two got yourselves in a right mess here. Possession of a Class A drug. Class A? LSD is a classification A drug. Don't you even know what you've been taking? We haven't been taking nothing. Oh, of course not. Round here, you can get six months for possession of that kind of nothing. I don't talk to her like that. She's only a kid. Or a fine of about ten years pocket money. Oh, sorry. Ah, well, usually are when I caught love. So are you charging us or what? We'll do what we want when we want. First of all, name. Mike Dixon. Jackie Dixon. Name? I've just told you the name, haven't I? I'll have the organ grinder, not the monkey. Name? Jacqueline Dixon. Jacqueline Dixon. Address? Both a Brookside Close Manor Park. Any telephone there? I'd like to speak to your mummy and daddy. There's no one in. I still have the phone number. They're both at work. Where's your dad work then? In the shop. Name? The Moby. What? It's a mobile shop. It's called the Moby. Is it? Well, I haven't made it up. What's your old fella's name? Ron Dixon. What's this shop look like then? It's a brown van with a whale painted on the side. A whale, eh? We'll soon reel him in. I'll still have that home phone number, just in case. Senor, I feel like gonna go mad, cos we've got these sweets. He said to could have them. The sell-by date was bomby nice. <coughs> eh, there's nothing wrong with them. This telly's last. Can't we put the film on? You pay this, you get desperate there. Nah, I'm just bored. Let's go and play footy or something, then. You don't want to play footy. You just want to watch the dirty film. No, I don't. Anyway, you just want to watch it no. Yeah, but we're not desperate like you. Piv. It's always the socks, isn't it? What do you mean? I'm not a suck. All right, then, you're not a suck. Where did you tell your ma you're going today, Benna? Toggers. And I told my ma I was going to yours. So what? So, you told your ma you'd come in here, didn't you? Yeah. So, you're the only one who didn't make a good spin up to your ma. Suck. Piv. What about you? You brought the video round. Only kiss me ma got it out. Anyway, when's it going to be back to shop? The savvy. Pity we can't keep it for nine and a half weeks. Piv! Isn't there another one called 11 days and 20 nights or something that's even better? How oh, would you know? I just did. Ben will probably told me. You're all shutty. Hello? This is Mr Dixon. The police? Hang on a minute. It's the busies. But how's it they know we have to film them? Don't be soft. Hello? Do you know when I said it was Mr Dixon? I meant Junior. No, my mum's had on in. My dad's out in the Moby. How do you know? Why have they done? All right, mate. I'll tell him when he comes in. Yeah. Ta-da. Oh, it's all Mike and Jackie. The busies have got them. What for? They wouldn't say they're looking for me, Dad. What are we going to do? We'll only have to get someone from around here to give us a lift to the police station. But what about the phone? Forget that, you blame my brother and sister they're in jail. But it's going to be back to shop by one. Who are you going to ask? Not that make the busy, say black fellas, don't he? I'm not that corkill. He is a busy. We'll just have to knock around and say. Start next door with the fartners. Not snobs, the ASUS. We'll start with that Terry and work around, eh? Oh, my dear. But if you said you were at his, and he said he was at mine, and we're all round here, the busies are telling you, Marge, you were lying. I didn't think of that. Make a good spin-up at her. Come, Ed. 
So there we have it, the all-purpose swirl. The multi-food slicer and chopper. Now, I don't want to stampede on my hands, but anyone wishing to purchase the swirl will find it boxed and stacked to my left here. And the cashier, Jill, waiting eagerly to be of assistance. Of course, if there's any other queries, you mustn't hesitate to ask myself or Maria. Thank you for your time. No, look over there, please. Only another half a dozen of these left today. And then it's Friday night. Yeah, and with a bit of luck, I'll be able to get enough commission so I can get around in at the Legion. What, me and you, the dream team? We'll have sold out a swirl here today. Touch wood. Hey, pass us that bone, man. I'm glad to get home tonight. It's been a long week. You better touch wood again. You might not have a home to go home to after. What do you mean? Well, is it Laura? They're going around to yours. No. Oh, Simon said they were going to Toggers. I'm well, sure Anthony said he was going around to yours. I'll go around to Benno's to play computer footy, Ma. No, oh, Simon said they were definitely going around to Toggers to watch that satellite telly. Well, let's hope the wreck in Ari and O'Grady's house, son. <laughs> Start again. What is it the police want with the three of you? It's not us, it's all Mike and Jackie. I don't think your baby like it, still. Oh, Thomas. <sighs> this house is dead posh, isn't it? Oh, put, put that down, please. Pardon okay, me, brother sorry. and sister have been locked up. Oh, no, hang on. <sighs> Hello. Oh, hi, hi. Uh, no, I'm alone. Uh, yeah. Have you seen the size of the clock? It's like Big Ben. Shut it, Togger. No, 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 nothing like that. No, no babysitter problems. Uh, long story. Oh, I was let down at the last minute. Why have you all these teapots? Oh, stop. Will you three just stay still for one minute? Um, sorry about that, Jen. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. So if there's any problems, just contact me at home, OK? I can contact all the clients from here. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, so that's all right with you, yeah? OK, then, bye. Uh, I was going to clean the mess up. Yeah, thanks very much, but really, I'll, I'll do it myself. After I've heard this story... It's all Mike and Jackie. They're being dragged off and they're all sorts of bother. Can you translate that, please? Arrested. The police have just phoned me up. They're trying to find my dad, but they said bring someone else down as well. What is it they've done? I don't know. I think it might be drugs or something. Hey, some fellow's hung for that in China or somewhere. Yeah, it was in the echo, wasn't it? It was from Southport, wasn't it? All right, Birkenhead, thanks very much, but nobody's going to be hanged. Now, are you sure it's drugs? No, but whatever it is, my dad will go off his head. Do you know where your father will be with his shop at the moment? No, what will he do with them, Pat? Well, it might have been Japan. Uh, nobody's going to do anything until they've got all the facts and your father's down there. Look, maybe we'd better try and find your father ourselves and then head for the police station. Do you know where they're being held? Do you know the one on the main road by the big roundabout? Oh, right. Well, I'd better get Thomas up. Looks like we're going for a ride. Are we going in the Volvo? No, we're not going in the Volvo. We're going in my car. How come you let your fella have the good car? How come you got to take your Tommy? I thought you said a servant. His name's Thomas, and she's a nanny, not a servant, and she's gone home on holiday. Now, out there, you three, now. To you. Get off, I'm not some shoplifter. Look, I couldn't tell you. Honest, I'm sorry. I was undercover, wasn't I? I shouldn't even be telling you now. The hours I wasted in that pharmacy daydreaming about you stock taking and stacking shelves. Yeah, well, you could dream about me catching a murderer and robbers now. How could I trust you after this? You could just start two timing me or lying or anything. I wouldn't do a thing like that. And how do I know? You're not the rod in you from Ainsworth Supermarket anymore. You're Rod the policeman. Yeah, well, he always was. I suppose you'll be telling me next that you're Tracy's a, a brain surgeon, not a hairdresser. No. Just to think I was going to bring you round to ours to meet my dad and everything. Look, Tracy is a hairdresser. She works all the hours God sends. Look, do you want to come back to ours and we can talk? No one's in today. So you can tell me more lies? Look, I wouldn't do a thing like that. I like you too much. Like? Love. You do? Yeah. And you really are a policeman? Yeah. 
But what if you came round to ours? My dad still thinks you're a trainee supermarket manager. Well, I suppose I'll have to go undercover again, won't I? So do you forgive me, then? Yes, Constable. Where's the shine? Oh, hiya. Hello, stranger. Hiya, hiya. Oh, what was your theme weekend like, then? Uh, Grace, it was a crack and laugh. Hiya. Hiya. What are you skivvying away for, anyway, Dad? No run today. Well, not yet, anyway, so... I thought I'd help your mum with a few messages. Getting considering his old age, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know what he's after. Anyway, come on, tell us your news. Well, it was just a sound laugh, Mum. Oh, it's like that Cluedo thing off the telly, you know, everyone running around every day trying to find out who's done it. It sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm surprised there wasn't any trouble. I heard there was murder there last week. Oh, <laughs> take no notice. So, haven't they given you your own hotel yet, then? Nah, but I'll get there. How'd you get home, anyway? Got a lift. All the way here? All the way here. Who was? Just some fella. Oh, why? Who's this, then? Just someone from the hotel, that's all. Who copped off? Kitty. <laughs> Hope he's an improvement on that own, anyway. Frank, look, I haven't said a word. Well, go on then. Go on what? Say something. I think I'll have a bath. Hmm. Afternoon, officer. What can I do you for? Patricia Farnham, seven Brookside Close. I'm a um, family friend. You see? Hey, mate, where's our Mike and Jackie? Uh, Tony, uh, would it be possible to see them? Sorry. Why not? I've just said I'm a family friend. Yeah, she's our mate. Regulations. <sighs> Look, this boy was extremely upset by your phone call. The least you can do is let me check that his brother and sister are okay. I'm sure you they are both fine. You shouldn't be panicking young kids with calls like that in the first place. I'm sure that you are aware that it's an offence for young kids of that age to be left alone unsupervised for any length of time. I presume you've contacted the father? It's all in hand. My dad will sort it out. Uh, and the duty solicitor? <sighs> On his way. So have any charges been brought? Don't you think I should discuss that with Mr Dixon and the duty solicitor rather than a family friend? I suppose so. I didn't even take much notice of you, Tizzy. Uh, would you and the boys please sit down? Boys. Are they being held in the cells? We've got them together in an interview room. And how's the young girl? Tearful. What do you expect? Look, I'm sure there's an explanation for all of this. I'm sure there is. Where are they? Uh, it's OK, Ron. What's OK? Where's my kids? The duty solicitor's on his way. Where are they? Well, five minutes to go, yeah. We did about half a dozen, you know. Well, great. How much did we make each? You know, you're not to take me fella out tonight. Oh, uh, why? You'll always be in their good books as long as you get the ale in. I think we might go to the pictures tomorrow night. You know, one of those 20 screens. I fancy a good film. I saw one last night, you know, in the video shop. Oh, yeah. It's got that nine and a half weeks out. Yes, that's easy. No, it's not a rosy one. It's erotic. I thought that was the same thing. No, the fella in it does all sorts of things to the girl, like, but it's got a good story and all. What do you mean, all sorts of things? With food and everything. Food! What did Charlie make of it? Well, it was a good job I hadn't got me shopping in. There was nothing in the fridge for him to grab. <laughs> did it get him going, though? Well, put it this way. He was late for work this morning, suffering from indigestion. <laughs> you want to get it out for you, Ron? What? With a lorry load of food standing outside the house all night? You must be joking! You never know. It might have had a little bit of spice to your love life. You dirty mare! Hey, you'll be using this on him next. <laughs> This bloody day. What have you two been getting into? I've told you it wasn't like that. Don't you even talk to me, you. All right, Mr. Dixon, we're not going to get anywhere unless we keep our heads. Yeah, well, this better be super glued to his flaming neck. 
Not me. What's going to happen to them? Well, it all depends on the overall picture, not just this incident. We'll have to take into account any previous convictions, particularly for drugs. Are there any? Hey, look, my kids have never been done for nothing, never mind drugs. Good. But I must warn you that the possession charge is for a Class A drug. In the case of your daughter, her juvenile status should ensure that she is given a caution. What about him? Unfortunately, at 17, your son is considered to be adult, and as such, may have to face prosecution. God, give me strength. However, given the lack of previous convictions and with hopefully favourable reports, I'm reasonably confident of persuading the police that a caution would be the most suitable course of action in both cases. Do you reckon? I'm reasonably hopeful, Mr Dixon. Not 100% certain. What do you think this is going to do to your mother? So does that. Yes, so am I. Yeah, me and all. Well, why don't I go through the whole story with uh, Michael and Jacqueline again? Get it uh, all down on paper. Hmm? I uh, believe you have one or two people waiting outside for you, Mr. Dixon. Rob. Yeah. Sit down, son. From Birmingham or somewhere, Auntie. How'd it go? Oh, great. If you're into teenage drug pushes and addicts and court cases. Are they being charged? They haven't said yet. The solicitor says it's just a wait and see job. I'm sure they'll settle for a caution. My kids! Right, well, is there anything else I can do? No, no, um. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for everything. That's okay. Glad to help. Look, I owe you. Right. Right. Well, I better head off. We go back with her, Dad. Mrs. Farnham's done enough, son. Yeah, but there'll be no room in the Melby. I don't want you messing around an empty house while I'm stuck here. Oh, Dad. Tony, I have had enough trouble to last me a lifetime today. Well, perhaps I could drop the other boys off then. Well, actually, Pat, if you could, that'd be great. Sam, sir? Yeah, hey, and you two, behave yourself, do you? And you, sit down. From now on, I want this family where I can see it. There's nothing to tell. Oh, you liar. Some fella drives you all the way to the door. They jumped you that for nothing. Yeah, well, this one did. Tell us your ball. All in good time. God, I told you all about me dancing. Yeah, through the bathroom door while I was trying to have a bath like. Yeah, well, I thought you'd want to know. Mm, you know, I thought it. Well, thanks very much. I practiced loads for that. Oh, I know. I'm only messing. I'm dead interested, honest. And so am I in your love life. Yeah, well, it's hard luck, isn't it? Sheep. Any clean towels down here? Oh, should I know? Could have got up some for us, Sam. No chance. She wouldn't even give us any gospel about a fella. I ain't no zero. Anyway, I'm not a thief. Oh, they all do it. Do they now? Perks of the job, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm not a robber. And anyway, I wouldn't want Mick come round here to beat me up. Hey, it's not funny, that. It could be getting done, you know. Oh, no chance. I mean, that fella was trying to climb in the kid's bedroom. According to the busies, that's got nothing to do with the eye and the give my half front step. Is he still lost blood? I wouldn't be surprised, love. Big lad, Mick, you know. Mm, doesn't know his own strength. Yeah, well, he could be in right lumber. Just because some divvy decides to screw his house. Look, he won't get done. <sighs> Since when were you the expert? Oh, stop picking your nose. And anyway, I don't believe in all that vigilante stuff. Well, he was just protecting his house and kids. Mm. So you think it's all right that people get their hands cut off in Saudi Arabia and places like that? No, you know I don't. But I think it's a bit tight getting done just for sticking up for yourself. As far as I'm concerned, Nick should be up for a medal. Not getting done for it. All right. So you think it was all right if we all walked around with a gun each and then if someone sat next to us faster, it'd be all right for us to shoot them, would it? No, hey, let's do that kind of talk. Yeah, well, stop changing the subject, cos you know I'm right. You're just twisting it. Mm, and you're just twisted. Yeah. Ah. Oh, hi, Tone. Oh. Oh. Hi, Mum. We are. Get in there now. Hi, love. Hiya. Wrong. Don't even ask me. Ask what? Where I've been, what these have done, anything. What's going on? Well, come on then, tell her. We've been down the police station. Please? 
Who asked you? Me, Mum. Well, get up them stairs now. Can you tell me what's going on? These two have been arrested. Arrested for what? Possession of drugs. What do you wear for us? Oh, shut up, you. I don't want to hear another word. Drugs? What sort of drugs? LSD. You know the type that makes you see pink elephants behind trees? Jackie. The pair of them. Why? Well, ask them, not me. Oh, I don't believe this. Oh, I do. I've been down at police station all day, haven't I, with the busies and solicitors and Patricia Flame and Farnham. Patricia Farnham? She brought our Tony down the station. I mean, to be fair, she was very helpful, but... Now she's seeing us for what she really thinks we are, isn't she? Oh, Tony's not involved in all this, is he? No. He's only there for nuisance value. Hiya, Pat. Hi. I'm not stopping. No, no, no. Come on in. Um, just thought I'd pop round, see if everything had been sorted out. There's a few things I'd like to sort out. Uh, come in, Pat. Um, Ron said that you were very helpful earlier. Thank you. Any time. Hey, I'll box you off with that. Oh, one. no, 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 no need. Well, I'd better be getting back and cooking Max ham and chicken pie. <laughs> He's addicted to the stuff. Right, well, see ya. Bye. Yeah. yeah, bye. Sure. So, what's been said? Not the busies. Not a lot. Just said we'll be hearing from them, that's all. Drugs? Jackie, why? Mm, it's not what you think. I know what I think, you stupid little cow. Oh, leave her alone, eh? Oh, get out of me sight, the pair of you. Go upstairs so I can talk to your dad. Hey, and stay there. I don't want to hear another word out of either of you two till tomorrow morning. Do you hear that? Not another word. I'm sorry, love. LSD? What will they do to them? Christ only knows. People with very high sex drives, poor loves, are talking dirty on Michael Cole in just a moment. Getting up, Jack. Oh, come on. The quicker we get this over with, the quicker we can get back to normal. Oh, doesn't mean dad ain't me. Don't be soft. Yeah, well, he wouldn't even look at me last night when we came back from the police station. He's upset. We both are. Well, but he never spoke a word to any of us. He's hardly spoken to me either, Jack. He's been downstairs since half past six this morning, worried sick. He want to speak to you both when you get up, eh? Think so.
Thought you'd want fair shot on that, lad. What? It's your kind of news, out not it? Sit down, your breakfast ready. Well, where's the kids' breakfast? You know where the fridge is, don't you? Can't I have any? You'll have this. Oh, Probably sticking me throat anyway. Hey, oh, Jack. Tell me mess with it. Eat it up. Where are you going? Did you get another blue? Don't you want anything with that? No, thanks. No, no, hang on, hang on. Sure, there's something here. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. I knew there was. Paracetamol, here, yeah, lad. Get that oh, down. Come on, Ron. No, Dean, let's really make the lad feel at home. What have we got here? Oh, isn't he lucky? Yes. We have some cough medicine and be chill blame tablets. They are some. Get stuck into that, lad. That'll keep you going for a while. God, Dad, we haven't taken any drugs, all right? Oh, no, oh, no. Only LSD, not proper drugs, like, was it? Didn't you hear her? Neither of us took nothing. You don't know what you're talking about, all right? Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, eh? Well, go on, then, super junkie. Fill us in. I'm dying to know the true story. Oh, what's the point? The point is, it might make me feel a bit better about losing a day's graft. Instead of sitting in some bleeding cop shops waiting to see if my kids get done for a start. Is that all you're bothered about, losing a day's money? Well, what else is there, eh? What else is there? There's no family pride left in here. Snotty Ollie's next door's probably told the whole street about you two by now. The druggy Dixon's a crookside close. But we're not druggies. Me neither. Tom, I haven't got something to do outside. No, Mum. Well, you have now. Get out of that vanning tea and have them tangerines. Half of them are bad by now. Well, come on, then. If you're not druggies, what are you? Just sorry, that's all. Oh, you're sorry. That's all right, then, isn't it? Sorry. Jack. Jack. Were you going to take those drugs? Of course they were going to take... Oh, no, Mamas. So what's all this about? Michael. What? Come on, isn't it about time you did some talking? Oh, there's nothing to talk about, Bob. Anyway, I don't think you'd understand. Well, try me. I mean, I'd rather know whatever it is. I have all these secrets. Oh, forget it, Mum. There's no secrets. I mean, what happened, happened, and that's it. All right. All right. All right! What's all right about it? trying against this bathroom of a morning. I feel like sticking my head in that water and leaving it there. I feel the bath and we can drown together, eh? What's happening, dear? I thought we knew our kids. Hey, we've had worse than this before today, love. What like? Like when our Tony decided to celebrate his seventh birthday by drinking half a bottle of me martini. It's hardly the same thing, that, is it? He had to have his stomach pumped. OK, it's not the same. You know, I really thought our Michael had learned his lesson after that last lot. Oh, you're not dragging that up. It happened two years ago. And now this. Drugs, LSD. Them two. I don't get it. I believe him, you know. I don't think they've taken anything. Ah, they're bound to say that, aren't they? And they're hardly going to go round offering a gear, are they, with a fry-up of a morning? Hey, I might know about drug addicts, but I do know my own kids. I mean, I can see it in Jackie's face. They're just not letting up about something. Well, why won't they tell us, then? Christ, dear, we're not the busies. Not so terrible they can't tell their own mum and dad. Just give them a chance, love, eh? Hey. No one ever gave me a chance, and I never needed any bleeding drugs. Just ciggies and brown mixed, eh? It's two years last week since I went near a ciggy. I know. Do you know what really does me in about this thing? 
It's just the way... Just the way they can go round the house all week. Laughing and joking, giving cheek. Like, like you know, as though nothing's happened. And yet all the time this is going on. I mean, is there... You know, is there something wrong with me or what? Am I blind or something? You can't have eyes in the back of your head, love. I hate secrets. I'm not so fussy about them myself. If I'd have given my alpha any cause to think there were secrets, it'd, it'd, it'd have gone mental. You're not telling me you told him every little thing you did. Most of it, yeah. And the rest of it, he got out of you with his belt. Ah, well, maybe that's not as harsh as it sounds, eh? And maybe you've got more sense than he has these days. Not the way I feel at the moment, I haven't. Oh, don't stop bearing grudges like he does. Come on, D, he's not that bad. What about you, Mary? Oh, yeah, yeah. He is that bad, yeah. He's a spiteful old guy. When was the last time he spoke to her? God knows. All because she converted to being a Catholic. He wouldn't have minded if she'd have just married the fella. She did what she wanted to, and that's what got up his nose. And if you ever treated our Jackie like that, whatever she did, you can wave to her to me. There's a world of difference, isn't there, between swapping altars and getting involved in this game? Come on, love. Let's go and get dressed. Go downstairs and sort this out properly. I mean, we're not at the where did we go wrong stage, yeah. You speak for yourself, do you? Members of Scotland Yard's anti terrorist branch are travelling to Hollyhead to interview the couple, and the police spokesman has said further more serious charges are to be brought against the couple in the near future. Hey, you, I'm watching that. Watching what? Oh, the war, what do you think? I was going to see what was on the other side. Yeah, well, don't. What do you think the remote control's for, anyway? All right, don't get a knock on with me just because the busies have got you. Just shut it, all right. So what's going to happen, anyway? How do I know? Do you want one of these? Go on. What's going to happen, anyway, Jackie? Cos is your needle stuck or what? <laughs> I wouldn't talk about needles when my dad's around. Oh, God, you're deaf funny, aren't you? This tangerine's rotten. I've got another one here. <laughs> no, thanks. I've got maggots in it or something. Well, it's not my fault. Oh, not and it's your fault, is it, eh? Think you're a little angel now, don't you? Yeah, well, I haven't been caught with drugs, have I? Oh, shut it, you poisons off. You haven't got a clue what you're going on about. And anyway, it's not like as if it's in some stupid film, you know? What do you mean? Well, we had a reason for having that stuff. What reason, Jackie? Oh, what's it to you? Not and I don't care anyway. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? So we're going to have to go to court or what? Well, I will if you don't shut up. Why? Because I will have stabbed you. <sighs> Where's our mic? In the back kitchen. Probably sulking. Oh, go on, go and get him for us. Swivel. Oh, we won't answer me if he's got a cob off. What do you want to talk about, then? What's the score with all you creeping round, appearing in doorways? I will beam myself in. We do. I said what you want. No, it doesn't matter. Good. And keep it like that. All right. Excuse. Down the stairs. Dad, I want to go to bunk. Forget the bladder. Down the stairs. No. Your mother wants to talk to you. Mum, there's nothing to talk about, all right, isn't there? We'll be the judge no. of that. Get down, lad. Oh, God, stop it, will you? Just pack it in. God, we ain't gonna take the drugs. Just shut it, eh, Jackie? No, I won't. I'm sick of all this. God, we only got them to get some lad back, all right? What are you talking about, Jackie? Oh, well, this lad from school, he got him off his head at a New Year's party. So what were you gonna do, like? Give him a drugs overdose or what? Well, he put drugs in our Michael's drink, so we were just gonna do the same back to him. Christ, I've got two kids in the middle of a drug war here. Yeah? If you just wanted to get him back, that's all. Is this true? Yeah. Well, how come she's involved? Can't you fight your own battles? Yeah, well, it was the only way of getting the drugs off him, wasn't he? Off who? Oh, this lad. I thought you wanted to give the drugs to him. Yeah, but I bought them off him in the first place. What do you mean? You bought them off him? Well, he wouldn't have sold them to him, was he? Have you got her dealing with pushes on your behalf? Dad, we thought we could have him good style. Oh, you did, did you? But you made a right professional job of it, didn't you? Well, I had to try and do something. Why the hell did he spike your drink in the first place? Oh, I don't know. It's just funny like that. Has this got something to do with that fight you had at school? Which one? Look, the lad was after him. I don't know. Where the hell have I been for the last two months on Mars? 
Do you understand any of this? Look, Dad, it just got out of hand, that's all. Did it? Well, now it's in my hands, isn't it? I'll kill the drug push in the... No, Dad. No. Do you mean no? There's no such word as no, lad. What's his name? No chance. Jackie. Name. Going after some lad won't do any good, Ron. Tony, do you know his name? No. Well, come on, son, back in the van. Isn't it enough that we know the drugs weren't for them, Ron? You're joking, aren't you? No. I'm deadly serious. I mean, I don't want you chasing after some teenager, whether they're drug dealers or not. I mean, Mick over the road tried to be a hero, and he's probably going to end up in jail. Just tell me his name, somebody. And then what will you do? Who says I'm going to do anything? Well, you're hardly going to have a little cosy chat with him, are you? I know, that's just where you're wrong, isn't it? Cos I've just had a new gob fitted to me boots. And I'm sure they'd love to have a little bit of conversation with that little get. So what's his name, Michael? Unless you want me to kick it out of you first. Ron, no! Well, what do you expect? Is that it, then? The two wise monkeys? You'd better make that three. Whose side are you on? Mine, yours, and theirs. I don't want you chasing after some drug pusher. Listen, I'll do what I want, all right? Oh, that's very clever, that is. Look, Dabby, Mum's that's right. Who asked you? What would you know about being right? You've just been done by the busies, haven't you? And a man with no name's getting away with murder. Well, it's better than you being charged with murder. Is it? Is it? Well, at least they got a bit of peace and quiet inside. Unless these two get stuck away with me. But will you just shut up, all of you? Jack, oh, just leave me alone. You're not good sitting up here by yourself, getting yourself upset. Your mother don't care. <sighs> oh, Mum, sorry. It's all right. <sighs> I don't know, love. You don't have to give the calls. Well, the solicitor told your dad, we just have to wait and see. Well, Mum, but if we do, I'll get in the papers, won't it? I don't think so. Oh, Mum, I know it will. I mean, it'll wreck me swimming. If they think I've been taking drugs, I'll get thrown out the club. Well, we don't even know you have to go to court yet. Oh, come on, hang on a minute. Oh, Mum, but me swimming. Well, remember what Nanny Dicko used to say. Oh. Don't worry, worry, until worry, worry you. But Mum, I've worked so hard with me training and everything. I know, and it won't come to nothing. What if we get in the echo? Who says it will? Yeah, and who says it won't? You telling me that if somebody did something to your mother, you wouldn't want to know who it was? Well, that's different. No, it's not. Why won't you tell us? Because I won't. I don't know why you couldn't have said something earlier anyway. I might have been able to help out. Yeah, well, I didn't want to cause you any trouble. Well, didn't you now? you got a funny way of showing her, haven't you? Yeah. Maybe I could have sorted all this out for you. Oh, how? Hey, I'm not some wide-eyed idiot, you know. I've seen one or two things as well. Oh, yeah, like what? Like a man who run a mobile shop, but I do know one or two people who know people. So what, like? So they wouldn't have tried some crazy stunt like you see on the telly. I didn't get nothing off the telly. Oh, behave yourself, will you, Michael? I think you're watching too much of this crap, aren't you? Dad, what are you talking about? This rubbish the Yanks spew out. Design of violence. It's more like sex and drugs. Some kids get half a dozen of these, then they go out either on a shoot the granny or clean up the streets like Charles Ruddy Bronson. Ah, well, you see, as a matter of fact, there's no proven causal linkage between exposition of fictional images and natural role behaviour. Don't you go spouting your mumbo jumbo media at me, sunshine. Anyway, it wasn't like that. Nah, it wasn't like that. Listen, what you've got to learn. Is there's ways and means of sorting out certain people. Like quiet ways and quiet means. Yeah, well, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? You're not kidding. All 
all right. Smile a while. All right. Can I have a go? If you want. Oh, I was always last at netball. What position did you play? Left back in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're sick of being told to go here, there and everywhere today. Don't mind. Yeah, it's just your dad's upset. He doesn't want you hearing all the stuff about the drugs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he realises that you're growing up quick as well. Mum, we heard about it in school anyway. Yeah, I know. You know what? Nothing out home. I think some of you two are starting to plot together now. Maybe. <laughs> hey, Dave, do you fancy giving Zan round the back? I'm going to build a fire and burn some rubbish. Hey, don't worry, love. It'll all blow over in a couple of weeks. Mwah. A couple of weeks, how about nine and a half? Hey! It's unlike you to burn stuff. <laughs> it is my New Year resolution, Dee. Didn't I tell you? Stop all the useless junk. Does that mean you're going to get rid of all this rubbish that's been piling up since we moved in? No, not the good stuff. No, I'm keeping that. I mean, all this, like, proper rubbish, you know. All the bits of wood and the rubber and the plastic and the... I thought you'd gone sane on me then for a minute. Saying is about the last thing I'm feeling at the moment, Dee. Uh, do you mean the club keep wondering what's going to happen next? Aren't you? At least we're not taking drugs. I told you that before we started. Yeah. Still can't get rid of that feeling, though, when I first walked in the police station. Being told by some snotty nosed pup of a busy that your kids are doing drugs. Just forget that, eh? And here next door, looking at me like I'd supplied them. All she's got to worry about is, I wonder when my babysitter's coming back. We're no worse off than her. I mean, I feel sorry for the parents whose kids really are on drugs. Yeah, I know what you mean. And I can tell you what, this isn't scared the shingles out of me. Just speaking about our kids have got brains in their heads. Yeah, well, let's hope that they've got enough brains to stay away from that push or whatever his name is. Well, we just have to trust them on that, love. <laughs> What's the score here? Nothing. Nothing. I'm sick of your bleeding nothings. What's up now? Oh, nothing. As usual. And what have you done to your shirt? Your tea got knocked over. Uh, where do you think you're going, madam? I'm getting dressed and going out. So on, well, you know. You dig again, you are going nowhere. Hey, that goes for you and all. What? You two can stay in here until this place is tidied up. Well, that might take ages. Oh, well, that's a pity, isn't it? No. Hey, go and get that shirt changed before you get rheumatics. Mum, can't I go out? Aye, all right. I'll behave yourself. Right, Tar. And where are you going, anyway? Nowhere. Well, what'd you ask if you can go out for, then? I just wanted to know if I could, that's all. Oh, did you now? Well, now you've checked. You can just go and finish building that fire for me, can't you? <sighs> and you, upstairs, come on. You're not sitting down your nighty all day. Come on. Jets. Happy new flipping year, eh, love? We'll sort it. I hate having to wave the big stick. Yeah, but they need it. Yeah, but I mean, it's crazy. Now I know the true story. I'm as much on their side as anything else. Yeah, they know that. But they did need a good telling off, didn't they? Let's hope that's all the busies give them, love. You see the state of our Jackie worrying about court and the swimming and that? Yeah, they will. They're only kids. Trouble is, they're our kids. Yours and mine, eh? Let's hope the worst's over, eh? Mm. What do you want? It's me. Oh, I'm getting dressed. I know you're up, then. Oh, just get lost. <sighs> Jackie, can I talk to you? You're all doing, aren't you? Look, I just want you to know all this will be sorted. 
Well, I don't care what you want, all right? I don't start. You started it. I started it. You're joking, aren't you? Yeah, well, you shouldn't have poked your big nose in. After what Sinner gave you? Yeah, well, it wasn't worth all the acid to get him back, was it? Hey, anything could be worth the acid if I could nail that druggie. Yeah, well, you can't. You might as well just forget it. Oh, I hate that lad. Oh, and I don't. Not like I do, not now. Oh, look, we're in enough trouble as it is because of you. God, just... Hey, you were more than willing to help out when all this kicked off again. Yeah, and look where it got me. You weren't saying that before, were you? Yeah, well, I hadn't been arrested before, had I? I've told you once, Jackie. I'm the only one who's going to get it off the busies. Oh, and what about my mum and dad, like? Well, what about them? They know we didn't do any stuff. Yeah, but they still think it's our fault. And I'm still locked up in here forever. Well, I can't do anything about that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you did anything for in the first place. You know why? Because of you. Oh, thanks. Just wait till we get back to school, then see what happens. Don't you dare make a show me in front of the whole school. It won't be like that. Oh, God, you're hard. I'm hard enough, OK? You know what? If you ain't so stupid, I'd hate you. I'm stupid. At least I don't go round throwing tea at people. I didn't throw it. Yes, you did. No, I never. I knocked it. You threw it? I never, but I'm throwing this. And this. What up your head, you? Oh, didn't you know I'm on drugs? Well, it's all down to him. Sin it. Oh, just leave it, eh? It's just you wait. I'll get him good style. Michael Cole takes a look at the world of glamour modelling next on Living. Guess it's as good as mine. Didn't you get one of them posh photos, you know, the ones with all the names across the bottom? No, we couldn't afford it. One of the lecturers took this with a plan of later on. So, that's Gina Brooks, and this is Gina Stewart. Hey, get your fingers off your market. Well, that one's Phillips now, and this one's Young, or at least she was the last time I heard of her. It's a funny name to have two of, though, isn't it? Gina. I mean, I could understand if it was a proper name like Janet. <laughs> I'll tell the priest who christened them that then. And we've been invited to dinner, have we? Yep, looks that way. So, what's boring about the boring one? Nothing, if you like watching paint dry. That bad? Oh, yeah. She could clear a canteen table at 20 yards, eh? Oh, all right, Chris. It's bad enough meeting some of your old mates, you know, without going out with one who's going to send us to sleep. What do you mean, meeting some of my old mates? Well, you know, all that memory lane garbage. Remember this teacher, you remember that exam? Oh, I see. You're the only one allowed to go on nostalgia trips in this house, are you? You and your guitar and your Scotty dogs. Well, what if it is the boring one? What do you want me to do? Sing a song to keep myself occupied? I'll tell you what, Frank, you save the song for when we want to get rid of her, eh? For me. Oh, no, look, come in. Thanks, Chrissy. Yeah. We'll just go through some old photos here. All right, Frank. All right, mate. Time of your best to forget those. What? School days did nothing for me. Hmm. Join the club. Where's the brains in this house? Hey, come on, sit down. Thanks. Eh, uh, I'm on the scrounge. How can we assist you? 
Well, I'm decorating Danny's bedroom and always a surprise for Sue and, well, me old paintbrush is a knackered. Say no more, mate. I've got my gear in a cupboard there. I'll go and root them out. Oh, thanks. <laughs> See if the brains of Britain here can keep you amused. Mm. Hey, how's Sue? Oh, great. Started a new job today. Yeah, I was talking to her last week. You're going up in the world now, eh? Soon leave me behind. No, no, that's what he said when I was in college. Look at him, still trailing right behind. <laughs> well, there's hope for me yet, then, eh? There must be. Success. Yeah, that means he's found them. Just where I thought he'd be, an imperfect net. Sucked as a baby's bum. Oh, thanks, Frank. I tell you what, Sadie, once you get started with them, you won't be able to stop. You'll do the whole house. Ah, oh, well, uh, I'll wait and see if we're staying first. <laughs> well, how's the sale going? I've had a survey done through the bank, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll go and get this wallpaper. Thanks very much. Any time, mate. See ya. Hey, Teddy, don't forget to put some tapes on it, mate. You know when you're finished. All right, yeah, thanks. Ta-da. Cheers. Well, I suppose it's, uh, back to your boring, mate. God, I needed that. Chilling the club. I hate Mondays. And I don't. It bores me when it's slack out there and all. You all right? Well, I was glad of a bit of peace and quiet after that weekend. How the hell did your two manage to get into that loss? Oh, don't ask me. How they're gonna get out of it is what worries me. Your Ron's still running around banging his chest like King Kong. He takes it all so personally, that's the problem. Well, at least he's not like my Charlie. He's got a wicked temper on him when he gets going. Ron did get a grip of Mike, but he didn't actually hit him. It really makes things worse, doesn't he? Yeah, but I could have strangled them myself when I heard what happened. Just be thankful that they wanted to put the drugs into someone else and not into themselves. Don't remind me the thought of one of them or our little tone. Oh, no danger of that. Him and our Simon are far too busy in cloud cuckoo land for any of that. Yeah, I think I'll wander around there with them myself. Can I come and all? <laughs> and leave Ron and Charlie to her. Great. Anyway, is he still talking to you, like? He's hardly spoken to anyone. Well, is anything like Charlie gets a weed on with one of us, he gets a weed on with a lot of us. Ron makes speeches. First we got, I'm gonna kill that drug pusher speech. And then we got, I blame it all on them copying the violence from those videos speech. It's just been murdering ours over videos. Why is Charlie still making those nine and a half week butties then? No, we can't find the thing anywhere. Charlie's going mad. When did we watch it? Thursday night? Yeah. Well, come Friday, come to take it back to the shop and it disappeared. Where? God knows. Anyway, so he goes to the shop and they tell us they want fifty pounds for it. Fifty quid for a video? Yeah, I know. Replacement value, they said. So then Charlie tells them we're to stick the replacement value and now we're banned from the shop altogether. They said they're gonna do us for it. All for a sexy vid. Yeah, whatever it is. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, nil. You shoved that, Tony. Do you want to flick it? It was a blatant shove. Just cause I'm batting in you. Oh, just shut it and get on with it, will you? It's all in the wrist action. And you'd know about wrist action, wouldn't you? Oh, stop pretending you're bored. Processions have you think in this game, you know? I'm going for a slash. <sighs> you broke one. Sorry, I didn't see it. Right, let's have a bit of extra time then. Nah, let's pack it in. My dad'll be in from work soon. Well, what's the problem? You'll play it as well. Nah, he cheats and goes mad when I beat him. So, what do you want to do then? Don't know. Can you put a video on? Nah, I don't want to. All right. right I only asked. Not my fault if I was tired. Come on. Oh, it's the dicks was yelling at each other all Saturday night. Tom was playing up all yesterday. But it doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Oh, all right, give us a chance. Yeah. Think it'd be all right tonight? Well, sleeping like a baby right now. What about his cold? Ooh, just a snuffle, I think. He's lying up there with a cute little snotty nose right now. That make him cry so much? Well, it's either a cold or he's partying for Margaret. Ah, no comments. Hmm, exactly. So... Let's carry on with this stupid game. This is a great game. Oh, maybe. I don't really see why we have to finish it the second you walk through the door, though. Well, if you hadn't fallen asleep last night, it'd be over already. Oh, my apologies again for being tired. I'd like to see you survive posting bail for the Dixons. Hey, I was the one who had to get up for work this morning. Uh, tell me you didn't say that. Joe. Sick. Sorry. 
Anyway, positively the last day I can afford to take off work. Margaret's not back by tomorrow. You're going to have to contract a convenient illness. Fair enough. But what after that? Well, the last thing I want the rigmarole of choosing a new nanny, but... No choice. No, me if could get stuck with anyone. Well, let's worry about that when we've heard for sure from Margaret, eh? And what if we don't hear from her? We will. How can you just say that? Simply because she needs us just as much as we need her. Yeah, at the minute, I need Margaret more than just about anyone. What? Even Maxie? Yes. I, if my career is going to go in an upward spiral and I'm going to find someone good to look after my child, I need a Margaret. Yeah, and you'll get one. The same one. Oh, I wish I had your faith. Well, just be glad you've got me, OK? OK. Right, that's eight, four, five, plus a triple letter score, and three, five is eight. So no worrying, at least for tonight, all right? Mm. Anyway, we've got other things to worry about. Such as? Um, such as finding out what the family motto is. So we can carve it on this. Nobber! What on earth is that? It's a present from Mr Dixon for looking after his delinquents on Friday night. Oh, put it away. It's got bad breath. Oh, I think he's rather cute. Nobber. Stag in its second year. So, that's Nobber for 84. Sounder. I'm really sorry. It's all right. Any afters? I don't know where he is. Seen a man about a dog. Well, he should be here. Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. And don't forget, he doesn't know you're in the police. I know. But what are you going to say to him? Tell him the truth if you want. No, not yet. We'll just have to lie to him. Only me! Ah, it's got to be Rod, eh? Yeah. Pleased to meet you, Mr Spence. Freddy, all right. All right. Uh, sorry I'm late, son. I got nabbed by the coppers. No real ice. <laughs> to have you for anything these days. Yeah, I know uh, what you mean, Freddy. How's my little darling, eh? Where have you been, Dad? Your chops are all dried up. <laughs> this is what it's all about, eh, lad? You can't beat a nice bit of end pecking. And why are you late? You knew Rod was coming. Rod understands. Man about a dog, eh? <laughs> you couldn't get me and the big fella a couple of cans, could you, me darling? Hard day at the supermarket, then? Uh, yeah, it was um, big stock take, you know. Huh? I hope you didn't take too much, lad. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be in right lumber, eh? <laughs> like them ones off the telly, eh? <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, don't mind us, love. Shop talk. <laughs> Shop talk. <clears throat> Eat your tea, Dad. Hey, I hope you got all this lot of Ainsies. Got to keep it in the family, eh, Rod? We, we are good for a bit of discount, aren't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, are we talking good job prospects, eh? Dad. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, well, I think you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? And eventually, I want to run one of them uh, big hypermarkets, you know? Superstore superstar, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so Ainsies is just like the beginning, eh? Yeah, just the beginning, hopefully. He could run Cork Hill Supermarket one day. <sighs> just shows you, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it does, does doesn't, doesn't it? it? A job like that can uh, turn out to be a nice little touch. He could go really far. Oh. Good luck to you then, son. Cheers. Hope you make a few, Bob. Hey, and it's uh, better than being a copper or something and all, eh? <coughs> <coughs> Hi, love. What are you cooking? Oh, sausage casserole. All oh, right. Here, uh, Mum will be pleased. Yeah, well, I'd rather do this and sit in there with them too. Yeah. <coughs> Did you go swimming today? Yeah. Oh. How'd you go on? Last. What, you mean you came last? No, my time's rubbish. I mean, my swimming was last. Neutral ground.
That's the best. We'll meet the boars on neutral ground. All right, I know. But where? Well, where's nice for dinner? There are plenty of places here. How about the chippy? Hmm. Look, we'd always go for a nice pub meal somewhere. A nice pub meal somewhere. Hello? Gina? Hiya, it's Chrissy Rogers. Oh, yeah, we're all fine, thanks, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was ringing about that dinner date. Yeah, what do you fancy? Oh, yeah, that'd be fine. Week Friday would be fine for us, yeah, yeah. All right, eight o'clock it is then. Yeah, see you there, bye. Well? Well, you heard most of it. Week on Friday, eight o'clock. Where? The Bernie Inns. Oh, all right, Chris. Condemned to be bored at the stake. Oh. oh, great. Here are Turtle's wallpaper. Danny will be made up. So they put it in our room as well. Oh, is it a promise? Defo. How'd it go today? Oh, it was hard work. It's much better than being just a dog's body, you know. <laughs> right, I'll get this one inside, eh? Yeah, you starting tonight, though? Eh, uh, I don't know. I thought, you know, maybe we could see if our bedroom ceiling needs painting. What? Oh. oh, you mean the prone position, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all this high-powered job stuff. I think it's a bit of is you? <sighs> yeah, well, let's hope you just get long cases then, eh? Yeah. New wallpaper, new job. I've got a good feeling about this year. Yeah, the thing is, I could be looking for a new partner, couldn't I? What have you heard from me? Oh, he's back next week, but he's panicking over this burglar doing it. Well, I asked some people at work today, you know, and they seem to think he'll be all right. Oh, you said telling Mick that. Oh, come on, let's worry about us tonight and how we're going to keep each other warm. Oh, it's you're the boss. <laughs> That's right, so gather your trappings. Let's go inside, because I'm freezing. <sighs> Terry, um, I've been thinking about today. Oh, you want to watch that? About treatment, you know, fertility treatment. Oh, hang on a minute. No, listen, just look at it as part of our fresh start. It couldn't do any harm. Well, it could do me harm, couldn't it? Look, I'm just not ready for that yet, all right? I don't want you to jump in and start anything. I just want you to think about it, that's all, for us. Look, there's fresh starts and fresh starts. Let's just be happy with being back in the same bed together. That's what you want. Yeah, it is. Come on, let's go and have a look at this ceiling. Are you going to have your tea with us, love? No. I wonder what's this footy you take the other day. Come on, make a bit of an effort, eh? What for? Only our Tony you say a blind word to me anyway. Come on, come have your tea through here with us. Hey, this isn't a footy. What? What kind of film's this? What? Nine and a half flaming weeks. Where the hell did this come from? I don't know. Muck like this makes me sick, you know. One of the kids could have put this on or anything. I know, love. It's for perverts, this. Men and dirty Max playing pocket billiards. That's just your opinion. How the hell did it get here, anyway? Search me. I've only been in five minutes. I haven't got a clue. This isn't our normal video shop, is it? No, it's not, is it? Right. This is going right in the bin. Oh, well, don't do that. I am not having this in my house. Oh, don't bin it. That's soft. Why? What's soft about it? Well, I think it's Maria's. Maria Benson. Got it out for her and Charlie. It's just a bit erotic. Erotic? Yeah, they do things with food and stuff. I do things with food. Like sell it and eat it. I'm not erotic. Don't know until you try. I don't want to try, thank you very much. Oh, Maria said it's just a bit of fun. Oh, did she? Hang on. Are you telling me that you lent this off here? No. Though I was going to ask if you wanted to watch it. Were you? Marie's had murder at the shop. Charlie couldn't find the video in the house anywhere, and they're going to charge him 50 quid to replace it. 50 quid for a dirty film? Erotic, not dirty. Oh. Uh, and tell me, how did their erotic film end up in our house, then? I'll kill him. Anthony! What? This. Nine and a half weeks. Mum, it was an accident. Bello thought it was the footy from last week. 
It was in a box mark, Fussy. We didn't even see it in the end. Don't give me that soft lad. And how long have you had this? Since Friday. You nearly cost Maria and Charlie 50 quid, you know. Sorry, Mum. Yeah, well, I'll take you around there later. You can tell them how sorry you are in person. Oh, Dad. You shouldn't have brought it round here in the first place. Anyway, it was Bella's mum and dad that got it out. Yeah, but they're not 13 years of age. And you can tell your porky little mate you won't be seeing them for a week or two. Oh, Dad. Never mind, oh, Dad. You can join them two out there in the doghouse. Oh, come on, go and finish your tea. I don't know. Coppers, drugs. Nine and a half weeks. I give up. It was good of your dad wanted to come to the pub and leave us on our own. He's not a bad dad. Yeah. Think he fell for that supermarket flag? We'll be asking him to get him free food soon. Yeah. We'll have to tell him eventually, though. I know, yeah. But not tonight, eh? No. Cos you're uh, seeing another man about a dog, innit? Yeah. Are you all right? What's up? I was just a bit yeah, it's dead sad. And she dies in the end. Oh. <laughs> so which one are you, then? Frank or Stein? What? The electricity board share advert. <laughs> bit old hat, that, isn't it? For a bit of an old head. <laughs> Look, this job application is no joke, you know. Not unless you find more money and guaranteed promotion funny. Hilarious, actually. Wait. Here. Yeah. Catch. Oh. Thanks. Do you remember that documentary on the telly about the electricity board? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me all about it. Well, it was quite interesting, actually. They suggested a link between electricity power lines and incidences of leukaemia in kids living near them. Oh, yeah, that's right. And next week, they're exposing the Pope as a Nazi number lester, aren't they? Just thought you might like to know the facts about your prospective employers. Facts? You call an unfounded, scaremongering documentary facts? Who says it's unfounded? Well, I happen to have read CGB, commissioned research on the very subject you're ranting on about. I'm not ranting. And, though it has been suggested that living near to electricity pylons can promote difficulties with immune systems, no direct link between power lines and any specific illness can in any way be proved. You say so. I do. And what's more, electricity is the most efficient, greenest, cleanest source of power to person kind. So get stuffed. Oh, charming. Now, can I write my letter in peace? Maybe. Hello. Margaret. Hello. Is that all you can say? It's cold out. Are you here to stay? I don't know. Actually, that's for us to decide. Can you take my coat off? Um, tea or coffee? Taking that dirty film back to Benno's now. Jackie, I'm gone. What? Look, I'm sorry your swimming was no good today. Oh, big wow. You were probably just tired or something. Oh, what would you know? Look, what I mean is, I'm sorry about all this. The busies, everything. I should never have dragged you back in. Oh, yeah, well, it's a bit late now, isn't it? Well, I just wanted to do the right thing, that's all. That's all? Do you realise I haven't swum as slow as I did tonight since last year? I mean, do you realise how many girls are trying to get in that team? Oh, you don't, do you? I mean, none of you do. God, no one's even noticed if I stopped going swimming. Oh, don't do that. Oh, why not? I mean, my time's a crap. I wish we get flung out anyway when he finds out about the drugs and the busies. Well, he mightn't find out yet. Oh, what do you care anyway? Cos, I mean, no, it's your bother's box is looking hard and getting your own back on some potheads. Well, I can't just let him get away with it. Oh, why not, eh? What's stopping you? You're trying to be some big James Dean in your leather jacket, are you? You know, big snarler. Is it good for your image, is it? After what he's done? Yeah, well, look, I don't care what he's done. I care what you've done. I mean, who's he, like, some druggy meth? And who are you, the big hero, out for revenge? I might be, yeah. Yeah, well, look, just don't do anything else on my account, all right? 
Don't worry, I won't. Cos I just don't care. I've told you. What happened before was because of what he did to you. Now it's personal. It's about me and him and nobody else. All right? Lap dancing clubs and the men who go to them are on Michael Cole next on Living. You have to. I like the short skirts, though. You've got the legs. Whoa. What? You've got the legs, whoa. Oh, your hair's a show, that. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. And that's for your makeup. Well, oh, that's what students look like in those days. It's one of these, the mates that you're seeing. Mm, yeah, it's either that Gina there. Oh, she's nice. Or that one there. <laughs> you mean you still don't know? No, we we'll soon find out. <gasps> look at them flayed jeans. They're that far out that they're coming back in. Hey, well, we were planning ahead. We thought they looked good, though, didn't we, Frank? Mm. Yeah, well, you know what I thought, did. Did you like being a student more? Oh, yeah. I think it's something that everybody should do once in their life, preferably when you're young. Just broadens your horizons, opens you out. Yeah. Anyway, time I wasn't here. Oh, I want a word with you. Too late. Day release calls. I can't be a bone idle student, you know, enjoying life. I have to work hard. Where were you last night? Out. Oh, yeah. Who with? Trial. See you, Sam. I wonder who this fella is she seeing. I don't know. She'd tell you before me. Oof, some hope. Was it really that good at college? Yeah, I mean... I didn't realise at the time, but there were no responsibilities. There's no money either. Still haven't. Well, we manage. Do you regret not finishing the course? Just the way it happened. Why? Just wondering. I wonder who this fellow is, our Sammy seen. I mean, it's not like her to be so secretive, is it? Is it? No. No. I'm late. Give time. My stomach's doing somersaults. What? I feel like I'm sitting my A-levels all over again. The interview's not till Wednesday, and you've passed your A-levels. I cheated. Cheat again. <laughs> Look, why don't we just tell her straight to get the shopping done? Don't go upsetting her. But it won't kill her. She goes to the shops anyway. We need her. It's her job. My job. What? If we lose Margaret, one of us has to stay at home with Thomas. And just for the record, 
Why I Like My Job by Patricia Farnham. Gives me fresh challenges daily, which I usually manage to meet. It makes me feel important, gives me responsibilities, irregardless of my sex or age. Plus, there's nothing bureaucratic about our office. I have a good laugh and I even enjoy the fights. That's got nothing to do with um, it. Incidentally, it also provides me with lots of filthy lucre, large portions of which go towards subsidising the massive maintenance payments made to your ex. So, my resignation could have unfortunate repercussions. I might no longer be the wonderful wife now gazing lovingly into your quite beautiful baby blue eyes. In fact, without a job, I could quite easily turn into a resentful, snarling bitch who wouldn't give you a moment's peace, darling. We're being held to ransom. We don't know her demands yet. Why are we whispering? Me? Whose house is this? Hers. <laughs> Act normal. Thomas? Fine. Playpen. Well, we've emptied the fridge and the cupboards, Margaret. I mean, I'm all for living frugally, but starvation is vastly overrated. Uh, who's your letter from? It's the trouble with having a dad who's read a few books. Word. Oh, he just keeps on at me about things, you know. We're late. <clears throat> Busy's uncovered Dicko's Mafia drug connection. <laughs> Schoolboy nabbed in dawn party raid. But despite the grilling, the brother and sister hold their tongues. Once more, the Cosa Nostra seals its lips. <laughs> hey, where's your sister anyway? She's still seeing gingerbread men playing cricket in marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could sell you a few tabs, you know. Bring it down a lot faster than old father time. Special offer if you buy in bulk. You know what you say about Britain? We're a nation of shopkeepers. And I'm just a mobile shop. <laughs> a bit like an owl fella. <laughs> so are you shopping? Or are you going into the marketplace? Don't say I didn't offer. Son, I can't do it on my own. Becky, you've got to die on give you that one. <laughs> Haven't they just... Oh, where have you been, Cody? Yeah? Oh, when did you start pushing? Last Thursday. Must be the mills, you know. Oh, I'll see you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, right, Chris. See you, love. Welcome home. Cheers. Um, it's my night off tonight. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going out. Yeah, we won't be late. Criminals to the left of us, druggies to the right, Bolsheviks living with us. We didn't see what happened. He was only protecting his property. Look, stopping a burglar's one thing. Putting him in hospital, that's another. Wasn't as if he was fighting back now, was it? Whatever you say, Matt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just used Cardiff as our base, like, went out for day trips to the museum mines of Ponty Pandy in the big pit. Kids loved it, you know, so did we. Wasn't it a bit cold? No, I was on the ground. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was great just to get away, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, the thing started missing when we got to the top of the road. Could have lost your spark, petrol blockage, anything. <sighs> oh, that's all we need was skins. Don't go slit your throat just yet. Could be just a cheap job. <sighs> Can't even afford that, mate. I'll swap you. What do you mean? Mick, uh, have you ever met any of Josie's friends from her past? I met them all in Cardiff. And to be honest, I felt like a spare part most of the time. I'm a bit suspicious about our fellas from Chrissy's past. What are you on about, Frank? We're having this reunion with one of our old college mates, you know, an air fella. But he's the business, you know, intelligence, good with words. So? Well, makes you wonder why. Look, she chooses to be with you, that's why. But what if she made a mistake and regrets it, like? 
What is all this from? And this reunion only served to remind her that she made a mistake. When did all this happen? It hasn't yet. Why don't you just wait and see, eh? You might get a surprise and enjoy yourself. Any luck? Could be a distributor. Are we gonna need a new one or what? Yeah. Oh, cheers, yeah. love. Tell you what, I'll get me tools and we'll have a look. Oh, cheers, Frank. Appreciate it. No bother, mate. So how much is a new distributor then? Yeah, not much. But it's all money though, isn't it? I better go and see that the kids' breakfast is going down their throats and not flying round the kitchen. Yeah, okay. Anything friendly in the post, love? Nah, just a few bills. What like? Electricity. And? Store credit card, I think. Oh, that won't be much. Is that it? Jos? I'd better go and see to the kids' breakfast. Josie? Now, are you gonna eat this toast or should we give it to your dad? Want some, Dad? Oh, no thanks, son. How about you, Gemma? Do you want toast? Oh, good girl. You eat up all your breakfast and you grow to be big and strong. Oh, you've got to be joking. Not now. 2,500. I said not now. First payment due now, 125 pounds. How the hell can we afford to fix a car? What have you been doing, Josie? Well, don't come here, will you? What did you have been messing up the finances? Do you honestly think our new furniture arrived in the TARDIS free of charge? And the holiday? And the kids' Christmas presents? You won't bring them much on the cab, remember? We're never, ever going to get another bill like this. I'm going to see to it. Really? Yeah, really. Jacob, do you want a drink? Ask him if he wants a swig. Free. Tell him to get stuffed. Whoa. What a world, eh? You try to be friendly and that's the thanks you get. You should take after your sister, learn a bit of manners. She talks to her like a duck to water. <laughs> What's the matter? Think I've spiked it with six tabs or something? Really would be the real thing then, wouldn't it? I prefer Pepsi. Oh. <laughs> Forgive and forget, that's what I always say. No point in bearing grudges, is there? Some other time, Sinnet. Fair enough. Dishes. So we finally washed them then. They're still there. <laughs> oh, good on you. Do they know you're working to rule or what? Well, they know something's wrong, but just in case they're weak and they've left a shopping list. You what? They're just trying it on. You should tell them where to get off. Don't worry, the cupboard and fridge is still empty. <laughs> An empty stomach works wonders on the mind. Mm. From now on, it's baby duties only. Are they dull? Oh, they wouldn't dare sack you. Well, I don't know. I mean, they could easy enough find another nanny. Risker. Thomas knows he likes you. Yeah, but it might not be any more inconvenient than me working to rule. You really think they sack you? Do you think you get another job easy enough, like? Well, it wouldn't be that easy. I'd have to move. Where to? London. Well, down south, anyway. Oh, you don't want to go down there, do you? In case I'm having to. Oh, well. All this, is it really worth risking your job over? Yeah, it is, yeah. A fair day's work for a fair day's pay, I suppose. Exactly. That's what my dad says. <laughs> Good for him. So, how are you, anyway? Well, everything's great. Except Mick might be getting done for having to go with this burglar. You're joking. If a burglar gets caught doing someone's house, he's got to pay the consequences, hasn't he? Couldn't agree more. Don't worry. You ain't got a leg to stand on. I think that's what he's complaining about. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you going out tonight? Yeah, hopefully. With Sammy, if she's not seeing a new boyfriend. A new fella, eh? Mm. What's his name? Tim. Only she's keeping him a secret. Oh! Oh, it sounds special. Well, I don't know. I mean, she's only just met him. Yeah, so when do you meet him, then? I don't know. She's keeping him under wraps. Mm. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See ya. ta -da. Stage one completed. What's that supposed to achieve, eh? Hey? Look, there's thousands of people out there who get into debt. They can't cope and they go under, but not us. From now on, we live off less than we bring in. We can barely manage as it is. And what we save pays off the debts. What we save won't pay off the interest on our debts. And from now on, there's no pictures, no videos, no pubs, no nothing. When do we go out anyway? When's the last time we went out? Dad, wanna help me fix me early? Yeah, in a minute, son. Cardiff. What? I've got the glue and everything. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute, son. Your mum and dad babysat and we went to see Back to the Future. Two years after everyone else. Mr. Papella. I'll be in there in a minute, son. We still saw it. We were on holiday. No, oh, there'll be no more holidays, neither. That goes without saying. And we cancel the papers and all. Oh, the Echo. That'll save a whole £1.20 a week. Well, it's a start. And we switch the lights off when we're not using them and all. And there's no new clothes for anybody. Leo needs new shorts. Yeah, well, patch up his old ones. He's just grown out to them. That's what happens to kids when they get fed. They grow. And you can start shopping at the cheapest supermarkets and buying their own brand names. And we don't need so much milk anyway, it's fattening. We have skimmed milk. And no spending any money behind me back. And no paying bills till the final demand. I don't know anybody else who does. And we sit down every Friday and we sort out every penny we've spent and everything we've managed to put by. And we're going to live like that until we dig ourselves out of this mess. And before you say no, you're not going back to the four-star. Dad, the propeller's broke. It won't work now. Hi, Sam. Hiya. Oh, hiya. Where have you been? And don't say just out. Farnham's. I was having a chat with Margaret. Hmm. We were taking bets on you seeing your new fella. No, we weren't. What's for tea? Pork chops for us, ratatouille for you. You want to watch your cholesterol level, you know, especially when you're sitting round all day. You what? I've tidied up, I've done the shopping, I've cooked the tea, I've helped Mick fix his car. After that lot, no wonder I could murder a pork chop. It's already murdered. Oh. Was this new fella a vegetarian? Not yet. I didn't quite catch his name. I didn't quite throw it out. Dad, is the water hot? It's hot. We going out? Might be. With the man with no name. I tell you what, Mum. Don't ask me about my love life, and I won't ask you about yours. Can you two behave yourselves, please? Well, actually, I'm going the pictures with Margaret tonight, and I'm not seeing my friend till tomorrow. Now, that's telling you, isn't it? It's telling me nothing. I mean, who is this new fella anyway? Why is she so secretive? She's young, she likes him a lot, she's embarrassed by it, that's all. Mm. And when people get embarrassed by it, they, you know. No. You know. No. Well, you get embarrassed by it, that's all. Meaning what? Nothing. Frank. Friday, this dinner business. Perhaps I shouldn't go. I mean, what if it's the boredom one? There's more reason for you to be there. Can't you just say I'm sick or something? Oh, I'd look at right lemon turning up on my own. No. You're going, that's fine, though. Well, she's ignored the shopping list. Do we confront her about it, or what? We ask her. We've both got more important things to put our energies into than domestic warfare. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to blow this job, whatever happens. Oh, you ought to try learning to love toxic waste. What? This campaign. <laughs> no kidding. And our creative directors are fully paid up green. Oh, what's wrong with that? It means he'll present me with a lukewarm, half-hearted campaign and expect me to sell it to the clients. Ah, tricky. Mm. And the campaign, no doubt, will have to assuage the environmental fears and anxieties of the local council, the local greens, and just about anyone else who happens to breathe oxygen. But apart from that, it's all OK. <laughs> I'll just make some tea, I think. It's made. Oh, good. Have we any biscuits? No. Uh, this account could mean promotion for your wife. Mm. Toxic waste. Do you really want to get it? Well, promotion means more money. Go to it, kid. 
Oh, can you run the bath water? I think it's time for Thomas's bath. Yeah, I'll give you a shout. Thanks. I bet she stops washing the baby's clothes next. We're both perfectly capable of turning on a washing machine. Say it. Nothing. You sure? Positive. OK. Now say it. You wouldn't last a minute in advertising. Which, which is, is why I'm right. a chartered surveyor. Look, there are two ways of dealing with problems, right? I mean, you can simply treat them as a pain in the neck, or you can treat them as an obstacle, a challenge. A challenge which can be met, dealt with and overcome. Then you're left feeling positive, with a sense of achievement, rather than just thinking, oh, God, after all that hassle, I finally got that negative thing out of the way. And all the teething troubles we've had since we moved in here, they're only small obstacles. <laughs> you, more than anyone else I know, should be able to laugh at them. It's easier. I've blown it again. What? Weekend after weekend. You've been great with the kids. True. If I had any nouse about me, I'd have bought you some flowers. Got a couple of concert tickets or something. To spoil you a bit, just to say thank you. So what do I do? I get obsessed about whether Margaret's working to rule, moan about the neighbours and get paranoid about who turns the washing machine on. <laughs> Don't give yourself... How do you put up with me? Why can't I just accept the fact that we live next door to a family of barbarians whose only crime is to turn the whole close into a rubbish dump? And for, for that privilege, we're only paying a mere 56 grand. I mean, what, what's so bad about that? There, then. <laughs> Do something. I'm kissing it better. If you love me, if you really love me, you'd make them go away. All right. Beverly Hillbillies, away with you, back to California and beyond. Are they gone? Mm-hmm. Honest? Honest. That's ready. Thanks. No, no, no. My turn. <sighs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the biggest baby of them all? Don't tempt me. Right. Let's get mad lad in the water. If I get this job, I'll buy him a rubber duck. Then we'll both have one. You didn't tell Gemma's feet about the economy driving all. You what? Leo needs a new pair of shorts and Gemma needs shoes. Oh, we can bind them in bandages. Was that stop them growing? Maybe that's how it all started. All right, all right. The kids at school will be giving Leo hard enough time with his court case and the paper. I don't want him skipping him over his shorts and blazer as well. No. What? The club. You're not working there, so forget it, and that's final. I'll put your tea in the oven. You what? I'll keep the kids in the living room, you get the door. Hey? Leo, leave it! Is your dad there, Sonny? Oh, what's in there, son? Can we just have a quick word? Yeah. I'm afraid we are going to have to change it. How long is it going to take? It's going to take about an hour. That's what we're going to go Okay. Charge me with the assault. Mick. Look, uh, we're back in an hour, all right? Do you have to go in the police car? Cheaper than a cab, eh? See you later.
Where's Katie? Yeah, she waited for you to bust off. Oh, I don't know. They cling to you for years, and all of a sudden they avoid you like the plague. I think I've got a bit of a cold coming on. Oh, no kidding? Yeah, uh, my nose keeps twitching, and every time I try to sneeze, I can't. No, not for a few days. It always happens to me like that, yeah. So you'll be really bad by Friday? Probably, yeah. Is that funny? My nose has been twitching too. Frank, I can read you like a book. What? Forget it. But what if I'm sneezing all over the place? You're going? Forget it. I've got nothing to wear. Since when has your middle name been Cinderella? How about your suit? Oh, it doesn't fit. Um, it's not even worth trying. Chris, it's filthy. Straight up. If you don't believe me. Frank, how long have we been married? 17. 18 and a half years, correct. Do you really think there's anything on your face that I can't read straight off? So if all this carry-on is just a crude way of getting me to take your suit to the dry cleaners, why didn't you just come out and ask? Why don't you believe I've got a cold? Oh, Frank, of course I believe you. Why shouldn't I? You're my husband. Yeah. And we can't have you making a show of me wearing a filthy suit to the restaurant, so, like I said, we'd have it dry cleaned. Oh, Frank, you are going. And you are going to enjoy yourself, even if it kills the both of us. You've got us into all this. Uh, we'll have the row after the night out when we've been bored stiff, thank you. No, you just said it. It's going to be terrible. It might not be, well, even if it is. Yeah, mate. Let's have a look at you. All right, then, son. See you later. Hey, look, I'm going to take you out of this school if this is what's going on. You want your autograph? You what? You're famous. What are you talking about? <sighs> it was in the paper working over the beer girl, fella. Oh, now listen, son. Tell him what it was like in the police cell. It took five coffees to get him. Shut him, you ninja kick, Dad. Hey, look, go on in now, boys. Go on, all of you. Hey, Lee. You going to be all right? Yes, I am. He's a bit shy of a morning. Where's my clean shirt? I only washed them last night. Oh, sorry, love, still in the machine. What? Well, it'll only take five minutes to iron it dry. Five minutes? It's practically soggy. Ten, twenty, whatever. I'm going to be late. Don't panic. Look, my interview's at ten o'clock. Well, ask Margaret. Remember, it's only an obstacle. Yeah, a challenge to overcome. I know, I know. What time's your meeting? Half two? Yeah. Well, I hope it goes well. Thanks. Good luck with the interview. Mm, I'm gonna need it. Bye, Margaret. See ya. Ah, Margaret, I'm just slipping into the shower. I suppose you could run the iron over this for me, could you? Uh, I've got an interview this morning with the electricity board. It doesn't need washing or anything. All right. You got it? Yep. the office at lunchtime. I want you to take this to the dry cleaners and pick it up on your way home, OK? You're making a big show me. It's your dad's suit. Do you want to look smart at this restaurant to go to? Why can't he take it? I'll take it. Jeff, lunchtime, all right. And hey, cheer up. I might have some good news for you later. What good news? Come on. Come in. Margaret. Keep calm, Max. It's an obstacle. Control. I'll buy a new shirt on the way to the interview. And I'll come home. And I'll kill her. Anyone here? Right, keep Dixie. Sit at the TV, it's not working. I'm not getting mad. I'm getting even. 
Now keep Dixie, I said. What number is it again? What? It's in its locker, what number? 12. Just double checking. Don't want to get the wrong fella, do we? Oh, we'd really enjoy that, wouldn't we? You'd better hurry up. What makes you think I'm not? We haven't got much time, that's all. Just shut it, will you? Any luck? Just keep your eyes on the corridor, all right? He's gonna know if there's any missing. You might as well just wrench it open. I want to avoid making a noise, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's gonna be all right, like. What? The whole idea, I mean. Well, what's wrong with it? It's not going too far. Look, he could have killed our Jackie. Or me, for that matter. Shh, yeah, someone's coming. All right. All right. What do you want? What do you want? Where are you? No kidding. We'll hurry up then, will you? Have a fussy kiss, all right. What do you want a fussy kiss for? Two guesses. Why are you still here, dickhead? Put it away. We're gonna be late. Oh, and it'll be the first time, like, won't it? Hey! You're such a big deal, I thought you how you forgot your kid? Mind your own business. Is he any good? What? Football? Car? I couldn't give a monkeys. See ya. See ya. So is that your kit like, or what? It's my class for waiting out there with a big red book or something. What? Science lesson, happy. Science lesson? I think he's trying to be funny. Substitute. What? Someone's forgot the kit and he's got some spare. So what, like? So he doesn't really think he forgot to take his kit to lessons, do you? Carl, I couldn't give a toss, all right? Or was he open to borrow someone else's to keep his clean for some big game? Who cares? I have touched you. Get out of it, Carl. Oh, I'm Louis. What? This thing doesn't work. You can't carry it on him all day, surely to God. Ah, oh, he's just a poser. What? This thing, it's goosed. You must just wear it for show. Give us a second. Oh, it's not battery acid, is it? Come on, let's get off. I've got a minute. Hi, Frank. How's it going? Could be worse. How's Leo taking everything? What I'm seeing is Dad taking away in a police car, you mean? Nick, I'm on your side, remember? If he gets to court, you can count on me. Oh, cheers, mate. I take your fingerprints, you know, Frank. All ten of them. Then you become a film star. You know, the mugshot. Profile left, profile right. Leo's made up. He's become an instant celebrity. Probably got a diary full of dinner invitations for the next six months. Ah, Josie's been great, though. That's solid, you know what I mean? Anyway, mate, at least all the neighbours are on your side. Yeah, right on my side. A few of them with knives in their hands. Who? Yeah, what's it matter? It's the looks you get, Frank. Smiles. Ignore them, Mick. If they'd have been in your position and had the bottle, they'd have done exactly the same. I know I would have done. Cheers, mate. Tell you what, makes my trouble seem stupid, really. Oh, aye. The dinner with Chrissy's old college mates. Not still going on about that, are you? Mick, I'm going to put my foot in it. I know I am. Well, why should you do that? Well, they've all had an education, you know, college and that. Yeah, you can have the best education in the world and still end up a divvy. Look at the government. Yeah. <laughs> but they'll all be nostalgic about college and they'll be sitting there like a spare part. And you're not a very good listener, are you? <sighs> Mick, if you and me, what would you do? Well, I had the same sort of thing with Josie and Cardiff. What was it like? I was born in the first. But then, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, right at the end, yeah. she went and paid for the meal. And what did you do? I took it like a man. Cried my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be a bit embarrassed about having me here. Well, we need all the extra money we can get, don't we? We're not exactly on the street, you know. Yeah, well, I want to go to extra dancing lessons. Oh, and here's me thinking you'd be glad having me about. Oh, no, I feel ashamed. I'm not prepared to put up with it. Oh, I'm deeply touched. I was thinking of going for driving lessons, you know. What do you think? 
Yeah? Well, you can pick me up from your dance class. Oh, thanks for the encouragement. Oh, aye. What's up with the queer fella? Hiya. Just three pound fifty will be ready tomorrow morning. OK, thanks. Mum's got the school secretary's job. Here, isn't it? You're kidding. Why couldn't you get in another school? Because the job was here, soft eyes. Hey, that's enough. I thought you didn't want it here anyway. Excuse me, hair has got a name, you know. We need all the money we can get, don't we? Yeah, and what are you getting out of it, then? Nothing. No, not much. Look, me and Bumper want to go on Aldi this summer. Bumper's mum said we can go. Well, where is Bumper, anyway? He's off sick. Can we go, then? I'll think about it. I don't think about nothing with her. She just gets everything she wants. No, we don't. Look, we'll see how you get on your GCSEs. I've told you before, you get your head down between now and next summer, I will think about it. That's blackmail. I'd call that an incentive. Yes, what did you get? More dancing lessons. Don't tell our Stanley, because she wants something to know. Yeah, there might not be enough to go down. All right, you're done. This will be a short meeting. This account. He's just going to tell us he's turning it down on moral grounds and quite right, too. Thanks, so. I know, sir. Well, thanks. Don't tell me you're actually You're thinking. not, I take it. Promoting toxic waste? No, thank you. Well, what if Richard does decide to go along with it? He won't. I'm not in the business of running a Learn to Love Toxic Waste campaign. I want my kids to be able to play in the open air, or what's left of it. Don't you want that for your kid? I'm pretty sure Richard wants it for his. Do you bank with one of the big banks? And you were about to tell me why I shouldn't. Should you, when they all refuse to cancel third world debts? Uh, not quite. They've all made provision to reschedule said debts. They're still charging interest on the loans and claiming limited tax relief on the provisions from our government. As every company does to cover bad debts, like this company does to keep us employed. <laughs> our bad debts don't force us to chop down rainforests to sell for hard currency, thereby adding to the greenhouse effect. Your bank account could be directly causing global warming. Oh, don't be so naive. The banks are in the business of lending money. Now, what people, companies or countries do to repay them is not the bank's business. No, but it is part of the sanctimonious hypocrisy of the so-called developed West. We've chopped down our forests and we're reaping in the economic benefits driving around in our eco-Porsches. But would all you starving natives please stop chopping down the trees because we really do need the oxygen? We have been doing our green homework, haven't we? I drive a car. I can't suddenly go all moral. What? The amount of toxic pollution generated by cars leaves the chemical industry looking squeaky clean by comparison. We kill less than them. That's a justification, is it? Our campaign strategy should be comparison. But it's your department's job to justify it. I merely sell it. Patricia, this is wrong. I didn't notice your morals getting in the way of Kev the Crop Crisps. Why should they? That was a good campaign. Oh, next time your kid needs a filling, ask the dentist what he thinks of crisps, chocolate and teeth. Who are you trying to convince? Me or yourself? Principles aside, we have to ask ourselves, is the incoming revenue worth it for the amount of bad PR it'll bring us? The people who did the Sellafield ads are still in business. Very much so. Well, that still doesn't justify us getting our hands dirty. As individuals, we've got to draw the line somewhere. And we always draw it in the same place, Alex. Just before it reaches us. Is it really worth the 30 pieces of silver? Is what worth? Promotion, dear Patricia. Promotion. <laughs> I've watched you in action, dear Alex. I've seen how you work the people around you, especially those above. You have a style especially your own. When in doubt, lick it. Well, it would appear your vaulting ambition has leapfrogged over mine in a style all of its own, too. I have the perfect tutor. <laughs> this isn't a campaign about the benefits of toxic waste. We have a chemical industry. The price we pay for that industry is toxic waste. Just as the price we pay for the motor industry is desecration of the countryside, building motorways, what have you. Not to mention the thousands killed on the roads every year. It stinks, and you well know it. Of course it stinks, but like the motor industry and the tobacco industry, for that matter, it creates jobs. And if we don't take on this account, we stand to lose a few of our own people. In other words, we can't afford not to take this job. And our client, who you did ads for only last month, has every right to our best advice and talents. I can't believe you. Getting behind toxic waste. Well, it must have taken an awful lot of rationalising to make a U-turn that big. Tell me something. 
Is there anything you won't do to climb higher? Oh, yes, Alex. I'll never suck up to you. Morning, team. Morning. 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 Right. This is a tricky one, so let's not beat about the bush. We're dealing with toxic waste, and I appreciate that some of you will have moral objections. It's okay. If you don't want to go along with it, it's fine by me, and it won't be held against you. On the other hand, I'd like to emphasize the importance of this account to the agency. It is a big one, and we need it. So let's just see who's interested in the account and who's not. Alex? Uh, yeah. I'm in. You can't, Mike. Something bad might happen. Something really bad already has. And aren't you supposed to be watching the corridor? It's dangerous, that's all I'm saying. You don't know what's gonna happen. You never thought what might happen to our Jackie. Or me, for that matter. Yeah. Hey, have the tweed weed. Give me them back now, or you're dead. If you just want to swig, all you have to do is ask. Cut the crap and I'll shove it down your throat. Keep forgetting. He's a Coca-Cola man. I won't tell you again. You lay one finger on me and you'll find him in the headmaster's office. You know what I mean, like? Better. There's two missing. Yeah? You owe me. And you know you do. Look. I don't want to fight. Well, give me them back, then. You'd be doing exactly the same thing if I'd expect your sister's drink. And you know you would. Everybody here would. I never nicked anything from your locker. And I never spiked your sister's drink. Look, we're never going to be mates. But we can be quits now, right? Don't push your luck. You want to swig? Get lost. What's the matter? I think it's spiked or something. Hey, maybe those missing tabs have found their way into this. Yeah, look. You would have the bottle anyway. That's right, it's not a bottle. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You? I know a good joke. Funny, innit? All right, you've made your point. Come on, I'm thirsty. I swig I said, not all of it. is this. We're all professionals. It's a long-standing account and we owe it to our client to give him the best advice we can and place all our talents at his disposal. And now's the perfect time for a TV campaign. I mean, never mind toxic waste. We could sell World War Three on telly now they're so desperate for the revenue. Mm. Has anyone else anything to ask of the creatives? Well, I'm really gratified to hear Alex's full frontal enthusiasm for the toxic waste campaign. It's an example to us all. But I do have one slight worry. I've hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we all know you to be a man of great integrity and a card-carrying green. So isn't there a slight conflict of interest somewhere along the line? The whole country is green now, isn't it? But we have to accept certain realities, such as if we want a chemical industry and the jobs and the revenue that go with it, then toxic waste is the price we have to pay. But surely that's the wrong thing to stress in this campaign. Perhaps we should be comparing it to the damage done by the motor industry, for instance. One car emits considerably more than its own weight of carbon dioxide each year. You took the words right out of my mouth. So you agree, then, our strategy should be a comparative one? What else? We'll look at the damage the tobacco industry does to the health of the nation. Uh, on the other hand, maybe it's a mistake to make negative comparisons, i.e. Um, we're not so bad, we kill less than they do. We should stress positive comparisons, of course. That goes without saying. Good. As a fully paid out green, Alex, perhaps you could tell us what those positive comparisons might be. Uh, not offhand, no. Can you, Patricia? Well, we could take a leaf out of the nuclear industry's book. Mm, in what way? Well, they've managed to take a negative comparison and turn it completely upside down. They've said, we'll take away your worries about fossil fuels because we don't produce any greenhouse gases, we don't cause acid rain, we are the answer. So? So, we need clean images, uh, clean water, healthy fish, healthy people. Hmm. Might be one angle we could look into. Alex? Why not? 
Oh, I don't want to tread on any creative toes. If an idea's good enough, we don't mind stealing it from anyone, do we, gang? So I've noticed. Quite. Shakespeare stole every plot he ever had, and he never got sued for it, so why should we? <laughs> Amen to that. And thankfully, we're all on the same side, are we not? I love working with you, Alex. I so admire your creativity. Me too. Well, I think we'd better call this meeting to a close before these two go pornographic on us. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. This account's a big challenge, and when we get through with this, I promise I will turn down the rot bilers are a cuddly and misunderstood account. <laughs> well done, you two. Alex was telling me earlier he was thinking of buying a rot biler. What? Before the meeting. Said you were going to call it Rufus. Rufus the Rottweiler has a certain ring to it. <laughs> Barks worse than his bike. <laughs> See you later. We meet the toxic clients on Friday, Patricia. Power dressing, yes? I'll arrive glowing. Something I've got to tell you. Something very important. I haven't done anything, Dad, honest. No, I know you haven't, son. But I have. I've put a man in hospital, that's what I've done. Now, I know you mates at school think I'm a real hard knock and all the rest of it. But I didn't like it in the man, Leo. I was trembling with fear. Serves some right. Fuck, son. I was a lot bigger than him, and that's all there was to it. Supposing some big man, even bigger than me, maybe even two of them burgled in here. I'll help you, Dad. Listen, son, hitting someone, it's nothing to be proud of. Your daddy lost his temper. I could have just held him and phoned the police, and that's what I should have done. And then there wouldn't be all this trouble. I'm glad you did it, Dad. It was great at school today. Hey! Maybe two wasn't enough. Shut it, will you? Frenzy next on Living with Hugh Frenzy Whittingstall and TV Dinners. <laughs>